Hello, people of the internet. Uh, today, we're going to have another discussion about my white belt journey. Um, as you guys know from my previous video, I'm uh, actually considering doing a tournament um, here in a couple of months. Um, not only do I have some weight to lose and trying to get a little bit stronger and trying to get my cardio under control and doing all that kind of stuff because I want to do the best I can. <laughs> um, but I also, I have lessons to learn. Being new, I have a lot of lessons to learn. Um, and today I learned a new one. Um, I was out with a, a couple buddies that are also considering competing. Um, we were rolling around, going kind of hard. Um, and the first roll that I had, um, I learned a lesson. Um, and today, the lesson that we're gonna talk about is, is grips. Um, when to let the grips go. Uh, I was rolling pretty hard, pretty aggressive. Um, I had gotten in a really good position. I was trying to Ezekiel choke from the top. Um, and I was no gi Ezekieling and I decided I would grab my gi um, to help me with some leverage because the guy I was rolling with was really good and he was preventing me from really getting it in there. So I was grabbing the gi and grabbing the gi and then my fingers popped. And now I have this. Um, this is not fun. Um, and that this happened mainly because I would not let the grip go. Um, I felt like I was in a great spot. I didn't want to let it go and I was going to do everything I could to finish the thing. And that was 100% the wrong thing to do. I should have let the grip go. I should have transitioned to another spot, transitioned to another move and done something there instead of holding on to the grips for dear life. <laughs> and not only do I know this, but I talk about it with other white belts all the time about how we constantly, you grip fight and you do these things, but you don't just like white knuckle those, those grips because that does nothing for you. Um, grabbing grips and doing that kind of stuff with the gi is one thing, but like if you're white knuckling a grip and you're holding on, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had people get arm barred because they would just would not let that grip go. And so then the guy wraps around, he arm bars you because you just, you're so stubborn. You're like, I have to hold on to this grip. There's nothing else I can do. I have to hold on to the grip. And then I did it today. And I did it today when I was in the middle of a roll because I was too stubborn to let it go. And now I have to wait a couple of weeks to get this thing off my fingers. Um, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna swell. Um, it's gonna prevent me to have some of the training that I need to have. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of training with one hand, um, which means the other guys are gonna be able to choke me on the other side. Um, it's gonna be a, it's a learning experience. Um, and jujitsu is all about that, you know, just constantly learning and growing. But today was a good one because I was like, ah, that is something that I, I know I shouldn't do. I should not grip fight like that. I should not rip grips like that. And so to help you guys, if you guys are hearing me and you guys are first starting out, just let the grips go. If it's not working for you and, and the guy's passing you or the guy's doing whatever and you're just holding on with all your, your might and muscle, you're just gonna burn your hands, you're gonna burn your forearms, you're gonna just burn out and then they're gonna take advantage of that. And so if the grip doesn't work, move on go to something else, you know, try pushing, try doing those kind of things, but don't just don't hold on as tight as you have to have because more than likely you're going to hurt yourself or you're going to get really tired and then you're going to get smashed even more. Um, I hope that's a help. Um, I know this is a quick, short video, but I figured uh, this just happened, so I might as well uh, talk about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.